Oh, hey, thanks for stopping by. I'm just doing my reports and wishing I had a template or something so I didn't have to start from scratch. I wonder, have you ever wanted to not have to start from scratch? Stay tuned. <laughs> Hi, I'm Greg Steinick with CAD Partner, the makers of SMAP 3D plant design software. You know, when I was a kid growing up in Texas, my grandma always made sourdough bread. She had some starters she kept in the refrigerator to make it easier on her. You know, in process piping, having a starter always helps. We call it sub-drawings. Michael's going to show you how. Thanks, Greg. All right, Michael Mooney back here, uh, and yeah, let's jump in and talk about subdrawings. Subdrawings are an extremely efficient way to use a much more intelligent version of blocks. Um, and so, what we can do here is over we got some that we kind of uh, provide some examples with a subdrawing over here. We got uh, we can get a little preview, and, and you can just click and drag and drop them out here, and uh, you know rename the symbols and and get all this good information in. They still are their own entities, and the fact that they're not, uh, you know, tied in and, and locked into, uh, you know, any certain state or layout. I mean, they're just all individual symbols here now. Okay. Now, as easy as sub drawings are to uh, to insert or to to drop in. Okay, they're just as easy to create. Okay, so really all we want to do is we want to say, hey, this is something that I use very often in, in a lot of my systems that I design. So instead of having to go through and find every one of these symbols or every one of these components every time that I need to use them, I can turn it into a sub-drawing. So I'll come up here and I'll just do an area select. We'll grab all the components that we want to put into a subsystem. Okay, and if we get some extras, we can just uh, control select here. But... We use the standard right click and copy it, puts it onto our clipboard, and then we can come over here into the subdrawing folder, right click there, and create a new one. Then all we need to do is paste it right in here. Um, do we want to give it a, a new starting name as far as uh, what these symbols are usually going to start from? All the line numbers, all that kind of good stuff. And so now we have our kind of square one as far as where we would generally start with this whole subsystem. We'll give it a name here. We'll just say that this is going to be, you know, subdrawing 99 or something. And then we can go back to our normal um, diagram environment. And again, these things are just so easy to, uh, to click and drag, drop right in. And we can say, all right, now I got, uh, you know, a, a large chunk of my whole subsystem redone, and we can say, oh, let's start with, uh, you know, 500. Okay. And so we can renumber things, get everything, uh, you know, back in good working order, uh, get rid of some of these other things. And again, they're not like, they're old uh, traditional blocks from, uh, you know, the 80s. They're actually, you know, intelligent, their own little subsystem. We don't have to go back and explode them. We can group them together like normal symbols. Uh, but then we can just come out and, uh, and use them like normal um, working environment. And we can just say, hey, I want to pull off, uh, you know, a little pipeline here. And uh, now maybe it'll come up and, and tie right into an existing uh, nozzle. So subdrawings, extremely efficient means of adding commonly used groups of components. So again, good question, Greg. So let's uh, take it back to you. Thanks, Michael. Well, there you have it. Subdrawings, kind of like my grandma's starter, makes things a whole lot easier. You know, the first week of May, we're going to be in Houston at the Offshore Technology Conference. We'll be presenting our software in the Siemens booth, 
So be sure to stop by and meet us or take a look at our software. It's going to be really, really an incredible opportunity. And you're going to see a lot of great things. Either way, if you have comments, go ahead and leave them below. And if you want to contact us, we've got our number and email address at the end. Thanks. And thanks for your support.